You're also known as the first chief risk officer at companies like GE Capital and Fidelity Investments. Tell us a little bit about some of the lessons learned while you were in those roles and any advice that you can have for professionals looking to become a chief risk officer. Well, um, I became uh, a chief risk officer at G Capital in 1993. And uh, I'll tell you the story as to how I came up with the title. So I joined G Capital to help them set up a, a new capital markets business. And I was in charge of the middle office and back office. So, so the middle office had strategy and risk management, and the back office you know, had the operations. And the front office was the tra trading team, right? So I went to my, my boss and said, hey, I, I need to order some business cards. What should I put on it? And he goes, well, what do you want to put on it, right? So at that point, uh, chief information officer, CIO, was becoming popular in terms of integrating different systems and elevating it to a C-suite agenda. So I so said, why not chief risk officer? And so that's how I um, you know, uh, came up with that title. Uh, for risk professionals, one thing they should consider is, what does my target skill set look like? Right? So for me, I've always thought risk management was my deep technical expertise, but I also want to think about it relative to strategy. So, so what is your T? You know, what is your vertical axes where you want to develop deep technical capability and experience and knowledge, but be able to express it in a much broader uh, business context? So I think developing the right skill set uh, is number one. Number two is be able to communicate um, through writing, speaking, one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, communication being able to communicate your ideas in a way that would resonate with your audience. So I think having good uh, verbal and um, written communication skills, I think is very important. Uh, I think you also need to consider organizational dynamics. You know, what is the culture of the organization? How do I motivate people? How do I overcome resistance? I think organizational dynamics is another uh, key area. And also uh, branding, you know, what, what is my personal brand within my company and also uh, within the overall industry and, and profession. I think those are the things that I would, uh, uh, you know, advise risk professionals to consider.